Hello everybody and welcome to Akalon Game Reviews Month here on Game Plan Review. This is an entire month devoted to Akalon Game Reviews in which he has reviewed games that have been shown on his channel on YouTube. And I'm going to be playing the games that I have not played that he has reviewed on his channel. So there's not going to be any games like Castlevania, Super Mario Brothers, or, or The Legend of Zelda, which he recently reviewed. There were pro some problems with it, but I will probably talk about Aqualong Game Reviews' mistakes in the near future. But I'm doing game plan reviews devoted to his channel. Now, I do want to point out that I was going to do a theme month devoted to Aqualon Game Reviews back in April or May of this year. But unfortunately, due to certain circumstances, I had to move it to November. And the good news is, I'm going to do it this month. So that way, I can get the games that I do have in my collection out of the way, and I don't have to review them or anything like that once I'm done with these reviews I or, or I can do revisits of them I might not have to do that once I review them but I do have at least two games in my collection that I got at Infinite Lives last year that Aklong has reviewed the other one I'm going to save until the end of the month and the of course, the rest of the games that I'm going to be playing for this month are going to be on my emulator since I do not have those games. I only have two games that Aklong has reviewed on his channel. And this, of course, is one of them. I'm saving the first game. I'm doing the first game for this particular episode, and I'm saving the last game that I have in my collection that Aklong has reviewed for the end of the month. Now this game, of course, is the sequel to Balloon Fight. Unfortunately, Aklong has not reviewed Balloon Fight. I really wish he would have done Balloon Fight first before doing this game. This, of course, is the sequel to Balloon Fight, and it is called Balloon Kid. And it's for the Game Boy, unlike Balloon Fight, which was for the NES and Famicom. And I do not know if this game is going to be any good or not. And it has the same mechanics as Balloon Fight. I, I, I know that for sure. But I do not know if the game is going to be good or not. The only way I'm going to find out is if I actually play it. And I just wanted to let you all know that I do ratings on a card basis. Green, yellow, or red. Green means thumbs up. Yellow card means in the middle. And red means thumbs down. So without further ado, I'm going to review and play Balloon Kid. Okay, alright, it's time to play Balloon Kid. I'm trying to get the right colors, so I do apologize, because I want it in the original brute black and white. I think I got it. Okay, balloon kid. So they have a balloon chip here, too. Okay, we're going to do single play. I can't do versus play. Without a connector. So I'm going to
And by the way, you don't have to press the start button, you press the A button or B button. Same music as Moon Fight. Oh, and don't press the B button, you'll be screwed. Say that. 
music's good. I will say that. I like the music. Pretty good soundtrack for a Game Boy game. Controls are a little sluggish though. That's really my only complaint. But that was fun. Hard game though, I will say that. The controls make it a little harder. Yeah. One thing, do not press the B button when you're not near a platform. Yeah, that's the only, only complaint that I have is the controls. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna play with, without the balloons. <laughs> that was a mistake. So far, Balloon Kit is pretty challenging. Yeah, you can thank the controls for that. Whoa. That's my really own complaint is the controls. The controls are okay. I gotta use the balloons to... I don't use the balloons. Nope, that's it. Game over. I couldn't do it. Dang nabbit. It probably takes me back to the start point. I don't think that. Yeah, no continues, which kind of sucks. So that's 
that's my only complaint besides the controls is no This is so far the best track that I've heard. So 
if you don't miss any, it will be better for you. Dang, nab it! He got me before I could even do that. Now back to one! Stupid croc. You're a croc of shit. Okay. Holy 
set the sucker and I'm gonna try that one thing really quick I want to see what balloon trip is oh it's the same okay. all with the same controls okay all right done I am done Okay. All right, I'm done. I'm giving Balloon Kid a green card. I thought it was quite fun. And unfortunately, even though I got farther in it, I didn't have enough time to finish it. Maybe I'll do a walkthroughs and challenges on it in the near future. Now, the good thing about me doing this is I can now watch Echelon Game Reviews' review of this. And I can uh, see his entire review for the first time. I know that he's reviewed it, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I picked it up and bought it for myself. There are two problems once the controls are a little sluggish. I but that's because Balloon Fight was like that too. And the other thing, you don't get any continues. Probably because it's a short game, I don't know. Maybe if I get a little further, I will find out. But those are my only complaints. That's that's it. I do like the music. The graphics are good. And uh, I have not much to complain about. So, 
Green card goes to Balloon Kid. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Game Plan Review. And I will catch you next time for another episode. Happy game.